What's up everybody, it's Matt from Peter Glenn and in this video we're going to show you the different types of life vest materials and how they're going to affect the fit and performance of your life vest. Let's check this out. Okay, so when you're shopping for life vests, you might notice that there is a wide, wide range of pricing, especially when you're shopping for those water ski or wakeboard specific vests. And we're not talking about the ones that just go around the neck. Those are always really, really basic. And those are more just for safety in the boat. But when it comes to those vests that you're actually be doing active stuff behind the boat in, different materials actually offer a lot different performance. So starting out with the nylon vests, those are gonna be the more basic ones. Now these are made out of the exact same materials that those around the neck, belt around the waist, ones are made out of, but there is a little bit more going on. You can obviously tell by the cut in the neck, in the arms, and then the fact that there actually is vest in the back and you do have some padding and some flotation back here. This is going to show you that compared to those really, really basic vests, you're going to get a lot more mobility. You're going to get a lot more protection, not just on the front, but also on the back. And then these things are going to have a lot of adjustability to them. The fit on these things is better than the basic vests, but the fit is more relying on the strap and the adjustability of those to kind of get that vest to fit you right. And these are usually gonna be Coast Guard approved vests as well. I can't say that I've ever seen a nylon vest that was a non-Coast Guard approved vest. So this can count as a life vest in your boat. You can ride it in a jet ski. You can do anything and it's a great way to save some money. Now moving on to the neoprene vests. These are gonna be your higher end vests. Some of the most expensive vests are gonna be made out of this. And the neoprene is the exact same stuff that they make wetsuits out of. Now these vests are gonna be cut very, very similar to these nylon vests, but you are gonna notice they're gonna be a little bit more ergonomic. They're also gonna have deeper cuts in the arms, a little bit bigger holes in the neck. It's all about mobility and giving you a lot more performance. Now you also notice that there's less straps on this one as well. When it comes to a neoprene vest, these do fit snug, just like a wetsuit. You'll notice a zipper up the front, you get this thing to fit nice and snug, and then when you tighten down the straps, that's just to give you a little extra tightness below your ribs so you do get a crazy, crazy good fit. Also neoprene, when it gets wet, it does tend to stretch a little bit. So you could have a vest that when you put it on, feels nice and snug as just when you zip it up. But again, when it does get wet, it's gonna stretch a little bit and those are there just to check that. And these vests are gonna come in Coast Guard and non-Coast Guard approved versions. So when you do compare the prices between these and the nylon vests, there is a really, really big jump, but I can tell you 100%, once you put one of these things on, you never wanna wear one of these ever again. And the nice thing about life vests is that they do last you a lot long, long time. So if you are looking for something to get out, wakeboarding, water skiing, tubing, even jet skiing, make sure you got a Coast Guard approved one for that. These are 100% better to have. They fit better, they feel better, and they actually do offer a little bit of warmth on those cool, cool mornings. Now that being said, between your neoprene and your nylon, there are some companies that are making crossovers. So those vests are neoprene vests, but they do tend to throw some nylon into some certain places. And basically it's to help bring the price down a little bit. You're gonna get a better fit than the nylon one, not quite as good as the full neoprene, but it's kind of a great way to kind of bridge that gap price-wise between both of these vests. But the nice thing is at the end of the day, just look at the prices. If you spend more on a vest, you're gonna get better features, better fit, and you're gonna get a better vest overall. But if you got any questions about anything that we talked about in this video, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer those questions. We wanna make sure we can get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure that it's gonna fit you and it's gonna fit your needs as well. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. And head on over to peterglenn.com, grab yourself a new vest, and get out and ride. Because any day of riding is a good day of riding. Oh,